I mean, the guy's got flaws. We all do, okay? But at least he is humble enough and recognizing that he needs God enough that he keeps bringing them in for the prayer. And and, and I got to say this. I mean, it might have started with the first lady. I'm going to just be honest with you. The first lady in that five hours when the Obamas and the and the Trumps went down to the Capitol and Trump was being sworn in as Ugh. the 45th president Could you imagine of the United States, moving into a house after Melania the Obamas? Trump said to her husband, Ugh. she said, I'm not going to go into that White House unless it has been completely exercised. I mean, because apparently over the eight years that uh, that Obama was there, and maybe even some of the presidents before him, there was all kinds of idol gods and images oh, and all man. kinds of artifacts. I don't think I could move into a house after the Obamas. I think I'd have to burn it to the ground. Alex Jones is on a mission to be live for 20 hours a day come 2019. And if you want to see that happen, if you want to see more reporters in the streets, you want to see more live broadcasts, you know how to do it. Infowarsstore.com. Check out the products. Check out the T-shirts, the ball caps, the air filters, the water filters, the supplements. It's all at Infowarsstore.com. And again, if you want to see Infowars expand, that's how you do it. Now, there is a special going on right now, the InfoWars Life Mind and Body Combo Pack. And I want to tell you something about this pack here. It's a, a new pack that I think people need to be taking advantage of, and they're not taking advantage of it yet. I'm, I'm surprised. You get Brain Force Plus and Vitamin Mineral Fusion, a combo pack at 40% off. Now, if you're somebody that has slow mornings, brain fog in the morning, your, it takes your body to get going a little bit out of bed in the morning. This is the perfect pack for you because the brain force will clear that brain fog. It'll clear that memory haze, and it'll have your brain kicking full gear right in the morning. And then the vitamin mineral fusion gets you all the vitamins and supplements that you need in the day, including a large amount of vitamin C to help build your immune system that you're not getting in your regular diet. And so it's the mind and body combo pack because it has the brain force that's good for, you know, thinking clearer and getting the mental energy. And then the vitamin mineral fusion has all of the vitamins and minerals in it that you're not getting in your regular diet to give your body full function. So it's the InfoWars Life Mind and Body Combo Pack. But I'm telling you, if you're somebody that has slow mornings, uh, a foggy brain in the morning, you know, whatever you want to call it, the morning fog, this pack is for you. I promise you, you take the brain force you chase it down with the vitamin mineral fusion drink mix and, and your foggy mornings, your slow mornings will be no more. You'll be up and at them and kicking as if it's the middle of the day or the middle of the night, whenever it is, you are at your top focus level. So the InfoWars Life Mind and Body Combo Pack, 40% off right now at InfoWarsStore.com as well as the other specials. Be sure to take advantage and help Alex Jones complete his mission to be live 20 hours a day by 2019, you've already had a brief preview of some of the studios, the new podcast studio, the new mothership studio that is being built right now. And it's all thanks to your support at InfoWarsStore.com. I'm going to do a news blitz here, and then I got to get to a video clip. So let's just pound through this news. Um, I'm going to have to get more into this probably later on, and there will be more, I'm sure, that comes out about this. But second Trump Russia dossier being assessed by FBI. So they've got, the, here's the, the real story here is they're doubling down, they're tripling down, they're not going to give up, they're going to keep making up fake stories, they're going to make up fake dossiers, they're just going to continue with this Russian collusion crap until they're all in jail. I mean, that's that's it. It's, it's, it's Russian collusion or jail for them, <laughs> and they have nothing on Russian collusion, so I think we know uh, where that equation goes. But we'll monitor whatever fake second dossier that they have here. Rose McGowan's manager at time of alleged uh, Weinstein rapes commits suicide. So this is Jill Messick has allegedly committed suicide now. And there's all kinds of rumors about what may have happened, but I, I, I'm not even going to pontificate on what I think may be going on here. I just want to report it and just say that there's been a string of suicides involving this whole Me Too thing, involving this whole pedophilia thing. And um, I, I, there's definitely something behind it. I'm not sure if, if this case is the same as some of the other cases that we've seen of suicide with people being... Uh, you know, accused of sexual assault or accused of child pedophilia and stuff like that. But 
Uh, just add it on to uh, what's going on with this Me Too movement, which you know would have never happened if Hillary was president because you can't have a Me Too movement with Bill Clinton in the White House, uh, White House, a rapist. LAPD submits three Harvey Weinstein sex cases to district attorney. Mm, maybe this had something to do with the last story. So now the DA in LA has three, at least three. I mean, I think there might even be more than that now, to be honest with you. Uh, so what will happen to Harvey Weinstein? Hashtag Me Too movement lawmaker investigated for sexual misconduct allegations. So you've got California Assemblywoman Christina Garcia, a leader of the Me Too movement, a total fraud, just like the rest of them, total frauds. And now she's been accused of sexual harassment against a male staffer. And you know, I'll actually be honest with you, uh, Rose McGowan, who I think is off the rocker, but I... I I think she's rogue at this point. I think she just, she's got, she's just looking at everyone like I'm taking all y'all down because <laughs> I mean, it, it's just wild stuff. What's going on in Hollywood right now. Uh, don't tell Conan O'Brien, but Tox op fam, Oxfam staff paid Haiti quake survivors for sex, but don't tell Conan O'Brien that the sex trade is rampant in Haiti. Don't tell Conan O'Brien that Laura Silsby got caught crossing the Haitian border with uh, minors that were not documented. Don't let Conan O'Brien know about that. He thinks Haiti is a wonderful place. I wish it were. George W. Bush says Russia meddled in 2006 U.S. election. Oh, Georgie boy. Oh, Georgie boy. No, he's not talking about Hillary Clinton and Christopher Steele colluding with Russians. Not talking about Mark Warner contacting Russians. He's talking about Trump. He's talking about Russians trying to hack our election. <laughs> Thanks, Georgie boy, for letting us know who you really are, whose side you're really on, a traitor. Omarosa, I wouldn't vote for Trump again in a million years, never. Now, this is a strange story if you've been following it. It's kind of like the Bannon deal. Bannon is in, leading member of the Trumpist uh, conservative movement. Now he's out. Now he's the bad guy. Omarosa, in there, you know, stumping for Trump. She's always speaking positive for Trump, and then she's out. No, I'm not voting for Trump. And so there's two sides of this story. Are they the traitors, or are they mad that they no longer have the access to Trump that they once had? I'm not sure, but those are the two angles. Olympics open with Koreans marching together, offering hope for peace. Wow. So wait, Trump is effective in his foreign policy? No, they'll never let you know about that. The Koreans coming together for the Olympics. Now, this was actually funny. Trump and Kim thrown out of a, a opening ceremony. So you had this guy dressed up as Trump and this guy dressed up as Kim Jong-un. They went to the Olympics together and they got kicked out. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? This is hilarious. This is the kind of stuff. This is the wussification of sports. You can't even go to a sporting event anymore and actually be a sports fan. You can't go to, oh my gosh, we're at the opening Olympics and somebody's dressed like Trump and Kim Jong-un? Shut it down. Kick them out. Why can't we have fun at a sporting event? Why can't we have fun anymore and laugh at things? It just sucks. How about this one? The war against Zika, fighting mosquitoes with mosquitoes. So now thousands of male mosquitoes have been released in, in Miami to fight against Zika. So, so basically engineered mosquitoes are being released into Miami to fight Zika. Oh, uh, uh, this is so infuriating. That's what started Zika. The engineered mosquitoes in Brazil is what started Zika, and so now they're doing it again to fight Zika. This is insanity. Meanwhile, in the communist utopia of Venezuela, a Major League Baseball player's mother, Elias Diaz's mother, has been kidnapped. That is horrible. That's just like the NFL linebacker that killed by the illegal immigrant. Do you understand why we want borders? Do you understand why we don't want communism now? They just don't listen. Now let's go to this clip. Pastor Paul Begley saying Melania Trump wanted the house, the White, the White House completely exercised before she moved in. I have to say when the president allowed 40 pastors to come into the White House and anoint him with oil and lay their hands and pray on him, seven times he's done this. Amen. And that's unheard of. We haven't ever. So, I mean, the guy's got flaws. We all do, okay? But at least he is humble enough and recognizing that he needs God enough that he keeps bringing them in for the prayer. And 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 I got to say this. I mean, it might have started with the First Lady. I'm going to just be honest with you. The First Lady in that five hours when the Obamas and the, and the Trumps went down to the Capitol and Trump was being sworn in. Oh, could you imagine moving into a house um, after Melania the Obamas? Trump said to her husband, oh. 
She said, I'm not going to go into that White House unless it has been completely exercised. I mean, because apparently over the eight years that uh, that Obama was there, and maybe even some of the presidents before him, there was all kinds of idol gods and images oh, and all man. kinds of artifacts. I don't think I could move into a house after the Obamas. I think I'd have to burn it to the ground. We're from the Clinton era because they were really tied in with the Haitians. I can tell you, you can read the serpent and the rainbow story and you'll find out just how much Haitian witch doctor influence was on Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton's mm -hmm. lives. I mean, they constantly went mm -hmm. back there. They spent their honeymoon with a witch doctor. Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> but Melania said, you got to get all that out of there and send oh, in some God preachers, bless the first lady. Priest, I don't care. Make the first priest, lady a lady anyone. again. Preachers and priests and anyone go in there and cleanse the White House or I will not spend one night in there. And he did during that five hours when they're ripping out carpets and changing. Oh, man, drapes, just thank God. Thank God for, for the, the faith of Melania Trump. Thank God for the spirituality of, of President Trump and Melania Trump. <sighs> Man, could you imagine moving into the house that those demons occupied, the Obamas and the Clintons, with all their witch doctor, Haitian, you know, nonsense, Obama probably doing Muslim calls to prayer? I couldn't do it, but Melania had the White House exercised. Hopefully it worked. <laughs> she couldn't exercise it from all the spy equipment they left over, though. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo. This is the heart of 1776. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Huge nationwide protests erupted once again on President Donald Trump's second weekend in office. When you open your heart to patriotism, there is no room for prejudice. When America is united, America is totally unstoppable. Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. And most importantly, we will be protected by God. From the front lines of the Info War, it's Alex Jones. No! Oh my goodness, poor Trump. white people, please, oh my, stop. Introducing Icarin, a 30-day liver and kidney cleanse exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. We have set out with top researchers and developers to bring you the strongest, purest, most potent, documented system for your liver and your kidneys. There are two different formula blends in one powerful capsule. It also funds the InfoWar, a total 360 win. Icarin, available now at InfoWarsLife.com.